How's it guys and welcome back to Ultimate Exotics. So as you can see right now I'm in our baby room, uh, it's hatching season so we have a lot of baby snakes. Uh, it's always such an exciting time to see all the, the snakes, uh, all the baby snakes coming out their eggs or being born and it's a time where you can uh, see the rewards for all the hard work that uh, everyone's put in throughout the year so it's always a good thing. Uh, but in today's video uh, we have an incredible clutch of Tangerine Dream Honduran milk snakes hatching and uh, we're going to pull this clutch out and we're going to have a look at the babies. These babies are some of the brightest babies that we have bred and uh, they are just extremely beautiful and we're going to show you this clutch right now and uh, we're going to pull these babies so let's have a look. Here are these babies from this clutch and you can see it's a nice big clutch. There were nine eggs, uh, so nine egg beautiful babies. Um, so we're going to go and take these out and have a look at them. These eggs were incubated at 29 degrees and they took about 62 days to hatch. So we're very happy. Uh, that's pretty much where you want to be at. And uh, you can see we use vermiculite there uh, for the incubation medium for the eggs and a few small holes in this 2 litre clear ice cream tub. And we mix this vermiculite with, a, with water at a one to one water to weight ratio. So say for example, if there's 300 grams of water, we then put 300 grams of vermiculite, all the other way around. If there's 300 grams of vermiculite, we add 300 grams of water. And that seems to give us a good mix that lasts the duration of the incubation. And then we just make sure it's obviously a few centimeters deep. But yeah, let's go take these babies out. So here we have our clutch of Tangerine Dream Honduran milk snakes and just look at how big and bright these babies are. They are just insane, fresh out the egg. I'm gonna to have to be quite quick here because these little guys are very fast. But just look at these babies. They are so, so bright and they are so big. Honduran milk snakes are large uh, milk snake species. They are one of the largest. And you can just see, see how fast they are as well as babies. They're actually quite savage when they're this young. They love to bite. I'm just putting these guys in here for now. Uh, then we're gonna set them up into uh, one of our holding enclosures uh, with some water and heat. And then we're just gonna wait for them to have their shed, which should come in about a week's time. They should have their shed. And then we're gonna put them into the individual enclosures and then start feeding them. And then you can see there's one very special one in amongst this a uh, lot of babies and that is a hyper tangerine dream now we've just got one out what i'm thinking is possibly the parents uh, are het hypo so generally that's a 20 uh, head to head is generally 25 percent odds but it seems like every year they throw this one hypo baby out which i'm super chuffed about because it's something quite different but what I love about this Tangerine Dream line, we imported this line about 14 years ago into South Africa from Germany. I'm not sure if it's the, the true Tangerine Dream line, but whatever it is, it is really beautiful. And what this line is known for is its clean uh, markings. So there's very little black pigment in the orange or the reds. So you, which results in a very clean tangerine. So your normal tangerines, as they get older, they darken out a lot and they get a lot of black speckling in amongst the red. Whereas with this tangerine dream line, it stays clean and there's very little black speckling and you end up even, the adults almost look as bright as the babies. So it's a beautiful line and you can just see how incredibly bright and to find these babies on. What I love about them is that mask over their eyes. So if you see on their heads, they've got like this perfect black mask. Look at that little guy's head. And I saw another guy with some similar tangerine Hondurans, very similar line. He calls them as Deadpool Hondurans because they look like they got a Deadpool outfit on. And they're so cool. All right, let's move the rest of these out of here. That's the hypo. Just look at the size of these babies. It blows me away how big these are. When you compare them to our Sinaloan milk snakes and our Pueblan milk snakes, 
these guys are like two, three times the size. There we go. Okay, let's move the rest of these. And look at the barren patterning on this one. You know, some have got the perfect banding and then others have this aberrant banding like this one does. And they're still pretty calm, but like I said, you know, after that first shed, they can be quite, quite savage. And as babies, they like to bite, but our adults are very easy to work with. So it's a natural instinct when they're this small to be defensive, you know, they see us as a threat, but as they get older, the adults tame down really, really well. There you go, you can see that one is getting a bit defensive there. He doesn't want to be messed with. All right, little guys. There's this big guy. He's going in. There's another one. They're ready to go, these guys. Look at how big and beautiful they are. Okay, and then the last one. There we go. And look at all those beautiful babies. Just an incredible milk snake species and such a great line which we love working with. So we're going to just get these guys set up into their holding tank and we're going to wait about a week for them to to shed and then we'll put them into their individual enclosures on heat and then start feeding. Such beautiful snakes. Such a nice clutch. We're very happy with this clutch. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing those beautiful baby tangerine dream Honduran milk snakes. They're such incredible, uh, big and bright milk snakes. And uh, we hope to be a lot more this season. But thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to hit the like button. Leave a comment below. And most importantly, please don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video. Keep well. Cheers. <music>